Dubai also slapped Speaker Among, former ministers with sanctions exclusive. Dubai also slapped Speaker Among, former ministers with sanctions Speaker Anita Among. Tuesday 7 May 2024 BY Linda Naduamwami. The UAE Central Bank also directed that properties of the trio, if any, should be frozen until further notice. Tight rope, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, continues to walk a tight with her options outside Britain receiving a vicious blow from the United Arab Emirates. The Emirates has picked on the sanctions imposed on Ms. Among and former ministers Agnes Nandutu and Mary Goretti Katutu by instructing that no financial institution on its soil deals with the Ugandan trio in any transactions. The Nile Post can exclusively reveal that the Central Bank of UAE has issued warning to all financial institutions in the Middle East country to thwart any transactions coming from Among, Nandutu or Katutu. The trio was sanctioned and their assets ordered frozen in the United Kingdom just a week ago and now the UAE says red flags should be issued with immigration should any of the three travel through the country. The UAE Central Bank also directed that properties of the trio, if any, should be frozen until further notice. The Nile Post has contacted the Central Bank of UAE after receiving credible information that it has already communicated the targeted financial sanctions to all licensed financial institutions operating in the UAE. Sources say the Central Bank of UAE only imposes such targeted financial sanctions against individuals or institutions upon a cabinet decision. The bank instructs all licensed financial institutions to fully comply with the obligation to implement all necessary measures without delay. All licensed financial institutions must screen databases and transactions against the lists of sanctioned persons, the Emirates Central Bank says. When a, confirmed, or a, potential, match is found through the screening process, the institution must immediately, without delay and without prior notice, freeze or suspend all funds or transactions. The institutions are also required to report, confirmed, or, potential, matches in the actions taken within five business days. UK sanctions grow wings. The UK on April 30 imposed asset freezes and travel bans on speaker among and two former ministers for Karamoha Affairs, Mary Goretti Katutu and Agnes Nandutu. The sanctions statement signed by UK Deputy Foreign Minister Andrew Mitchell indicates that Katutu and Nandutu embezzled thousands of iron sheets from a government-funded housing project designed to assist vulnerable communities in Karamoha. Among was found to have benefited from the proceeds of the theft, according to London's statement. The UK is sending a clear message that benefiting at the expense of others is not acceptable. Corruption has consequences, and those responsible will be held accountable, Mr. Mitchell said. The actions of these individuals, who took aid meant for those in need and kept the proceeds for themselves, represent the epitome of corruption and have no place in society. Ms. Among has protested the sanctions, calling it, politically motivated, and a, witch hunt, against her person for her push to enact the Anti-Homosexuality Act last year. I'm carrying a cross for 48 million Ugandans because of the Anti-Homosexuality Act we passed in 2023, Ms. Among told journalists on Friday. The government last week said it had learned with, surprise, of the imposition of sanctions on, Ugandan politicians charged with corruption. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs said it looks forward to engaging with the British High Commission in Uganda mindful that, sovereignty remains a cardinal principle in the bilateral relations between two countries. Parliament threatened to withdraw from the Commonwealth Speakers Conference currently chaired by Uganda.